USGN Tech Forum. So today in this video we are going to do more with camera like in earlier module you have seen how to connect camera with the Raspberry Pi and take still pictures capture videos from command line right but that's not uh, the best use of it basically if there is a camera most probably you would like to solve some problem like for me uh, a remote monitoring is a use case so I have a couple of Raspberry Pi sitting in my closet and uh, then every time I need to there are certain LEDs which is doing indicating something but every time I want to look at the LED, LED status I need to walk to the closet right uh, with the camera I can do a remote monitoring I can uh, feed uh, I can start a continuous streaming of what is going on in the closet and I can watch it maybe uh, from my um, desktop or if you want to enhance it, you can create a web app also so that you can watch it in mobile. But in this project, um, we will simply try to see if we can monitor it from any laptop in our home network and if we can monitor it from any uh, outside network also, right? So uh, th those two, two things we will make sure we, at the end of the project is working. All right, so the connection looks like this. You have a Raspberry Pi, Pi 3, Pi 4 and a uh, Pi module camera connected like this. All right, so if you haven't watched the uh, earlier video, I highly, highly recommend you go watch that video and see how Pi interface, uh, Pi camera interface with Raspberry Pi and how you can run uh, some uh, CLI commands, right? Now let's start with our project. Now, so we have a test bed setup. We'll look at the code. The first thing you need certain kind of code, right? Uh, you can write that code in C, Java or anything. For us, we are going to use the uh, Raspberry Pi libraries and Python programming. So this is the code and I'll post the code link uh, in uh, descriptions so you can find the code and uh, read, it, read it. So basically I will not take any undo, un, undue credit. I wanted to write something, but then I found uh, on this website, random tutorials, there is already a working code available and a lot of people they vetted for this code that this is working without any modification. And I give it a shot. I, I was really lucky. It's really working. And I uh, convey my sincere thank, thank you for uh, the people who put so much hard work and publish their work um, on the internet. All right. So this is the, how the code looks like. You can always visit the original link. Uh, to the blog and that's here I will I'll put the link in my description as well but let's look at the code here so basically what this code is doing the it's doing beautiful things it's doing two things first it's creating a static web page that means you can see your camera streaming video just by going to your browser and put the IP address uh, right so it, it is creating a static website uh, for your camera streaming and then you have different libraries which is handling the GPIO and camera interface. Basically, it's capturing the resolution rate, frame rate, and how to save it in what format and everything is here. All right. So this code is tried and tested. You can run without any modification. And that's what we are going to do next. Okay. So this is our Raspberry Pi. As you can see, um, Let's validate the IP address, IP A, 192.168.1.25. And let's quickly look at the port where it is listening. Okay, as you can see, I have, uh, they are, it's listening on code number 8000. And that's what the code said, right? So it's using that Python 3 program. So I'm already running this program and I have positioned my camera. Uh, it's looking outside the window. So let's go ahead and see what is the feed we are getting. So basically what you have to do, you have to go to your browser and type the URL, which is 192.168.1.25 and then the port number where it, this Pi camera uh, program is listening. All right. So just put this in your on your browser and here you go you can see my neighborhood, right? My camera is sitting just next to my window and looking outside. And here you can see a live feed 
from Raspberry Pi camera coming in. All right. So this is this happened when I'm in my local network. I do not know, don't have to do any sort of networking and all. But uh, let's take one step forward because we are networking people, right? So if you can watch this feed sitting at home, can you also watch this feed when if you are on the go uh, or outside working from office, right? So for that again, if you are running any router or a firewall you just have to do the fo port forwarding and forward this 8000 port translate it to some other port and tie it with your van ip address and if you're not sure about how to do port forwarding i have a video for that also you can watch that video or you can just search internet right once you do that you will be able to monitor this feed just by switching the ip address from local IP address to your WAN IP address, and you can watch this live feed maybe sitting in office. On the go is also possible. If you are uh, if you are more uh, interested, you can also create an app for this, and then you can watch this feed from your mobile phone. All right. So again, uh, in this SDN Tech Forum, actually what we do, I will express everything how how we did it. So that's what I'm going to show you. So basically to simulate this environment, I have a VM running on uh, uh, Oracle Cloud uh, Infra, and this is a always free VM. So basically on my OCI VM, what I did, I installed a VNC services so that I can uh, uh, use the GUI interface, all right? So I installed the GUI front, then I installed the GU uh, VNC server, once you do that, your OCI VM will be available via VNC client, but you can, you also have to open up the security uh, list, right? Because it's a cloud environment. So make sure you have your security, uh, uh, you have things allowed in your security list. Do not open it for everyone. Just try to restrict it with the, with the IP address of your like uh, uh, wherever you are working. Okay, so you have to do a couple of things. On your VM, you have to install VNC server and uh, GUI interface. Then you have to turn off the firewall or modify the firewall of VM itself. And finally, you have to allow that in security list, right? Uh, because it's again cloud, just like a typical uh, in ingress or ingress rule. All right, so now what we will do, uh, we will watch this feed, Pi camera feed from OCI VM. So OCI VM is in cloud. From cloud, I will try to connect to my um, Pi and watch the feed from there. All right. So for that, what we will do first, before I start VNCing uh, to my OPC, uh, let me show you my OPC IP address so that you know that we are outside of the network all right that's what you can see 132 145 to 12 143 and let's connect try to connect via vnc okay it's already connected okay. all right so this is my vnc and i already made the connection and what I'm doing right now is using uh, my WAN IP address with a different port number and you can see I have the same feed available here from Oracle VM. So this is the feed I'm watching not from my home but I'm watching from outside network right and how cool is that like re remotely I'm sitting in my office and I can watch the feed live feed all right so you can monitor it from home from office and if you are interested, you can also store the um, the video, right? You can also store the video maybe uh, at your local hard disk or uh, uh, on cloud and do a lot of, uh, and also do some kind of like uh, alarm triggering, right? So if you uh, put some additional sensors, maybe some sonar sensor, which is me measuring distance or something, uh, you can also uh, initiate uh, alerts, right? So. We will do that maybe as a next interesting project, but this is for now. Connect your Raspberry Pi camera, make the run this program, which will 
give you the remote monitoring, uh, uh, on-site monitoring, and if you do the port forwarding, then you will have the remote monitoring available. So uh, this is it for this video. Thank you very much. I'll hope to see you in next video.